Alrighty, what we got this time? Well, uh, you can see it in the title, but, you know. So, perhaps you remember, we have played this before on the PlayStation, as a matter of fact. It's very quiet in my headset. Ah, uh, whatever. I hope you guys can hear it. <laughs> then again, I only get my headphones at uh, 50%, so. What a strange amount of skipping. You go from 1 1 to 2 4 to 3 7 to 4 10 to 5 13. Oh, I see. It's three stages and then... Oh, it, it's three boards and then it goes from stage six to stage 17. I, I think. I hope. Doesn't matter. I like Buster Brothers. I'm not very good at it, but I'm a fan. It's weird. Like, I didn't get to play this until much later in life. Um, I used to see this in magazines when I was very interested in the TG-16 but never could get my hands on one because I was too busy buying Zoda's Revenge. Um, and I would see all the, the especially the, the Turbo CD games because while I loved my Sega CD I was just so disappointed in, in just how small the good library is at the time. Now, as I would find out later, the, the, the Sega CD library is actually better than I thought but it's still, like, overflowing with just tons of games that it just does not need. Fuck you, Bumblebee! Oh, shit. Oh, okay. Uh. Okay. Okay. <laughs> And for whatever reason, even though it wasn't like a big action game or whatever, like I was just drawn to this game. Some oh shit. I, I guess it just, it just struck me as like a a simple like arcade style game. What's this in the arcades? Yeah, I was very interested in this game, and uh, the reason I'm playing this is uh, I'm trying to go through, like, I figured for Retro Request to do some, you know, Turbo CD games, obviously, but, uh, ah, <laughs> to be honest, my big motivation for doing this game is, uh, I actually don't have many uh, Turbo CD games on me, like, I'll have to, I'll have to take some time to, to gather some. And this was on the short list of games I did have. And this is always the game I would use to try and test uh, and see if I could get the Turbo CD emulators to finally work. And for the longest time I couldn't. I couldn't figure out what I was doing wrong. And it wasn't I didn't have the BIOS. I had the right BIOS. And in fact, I'd even get to the BIOS screen. And then when it came time to load, actually like you know press the run button, nothing would happen. So for the longest time, the only way I was able to play... Um, uh, TG-16 and uh, Turbo CD games was through a RetroPie because it used a uh, RetroArc. So f finally one day I gave up on using uh, like just separate emulators and just like, fuck, I'm just going to use RetroArc. And oh my god, why didn't I do this sooner? RetroArc is fucking awesome. It makes everything so much easier. Just everything in one... I mean, okay, it's different emulators in one front end, I guess we'll call it. One unified UI? Sure, why not? That sounds right. Yeah, this is the game I always test. <laughs> there, there, there's gonna... What was I doing trying to grab that? Holy shit, I'm dumb. This is a Capcom game, if you couldn't tell. I... It, this version is published by NEC, but, um... Shit. But, uh, the original game is by Capcom.
I don't actually have two cooks. Oh shit! Mm. Oh, I thought I had two hooks. Shit. I'm dumb. Okay, that's just it's just a shield. I legit forgot. You know, speaking of games I used, uh, that I test with, um, <laughs> maybe certain people have uh, games that they use to test up out new setups or whatever to make sure thing, uh, emulators work or or flashcards or whatever. I have a very strange choice for what I use, what game I use to test a number of my games. You know what it is? Adam's Family. It's not even the first game in a, a list of games uh, going alphabetical it's just always want to gravitate towards and i'm not sure why honestly like as long as it's like it, adam's family was on most eight and 16-bit consoles but um well it's not but um it's, that's for whatever reason that's what that's the game i use to, to test and make sure everything's working okay sound and whatnot it's why I used to test my uh, flashcards, too. I think the reason I'm drawn to that game than uh, uh, more than other games... What am I doing trying to collect those? I'm a dumb shit. Pew, 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 pew. So, I think one of these days, just for fun, we're going to do like like six days in a row of just playing Abs Family. We're going to play it on the Master System, we're going to play it on the Game Gear, we're going to play it on NES, we're going to play it on fucking uh, Sega Genesis, and we're going to play it on Super Nintendo. I think I always picked that game because subconsciously it's a game I always wanted to play. Back, back when I had Nintendo Power, uh, I would... They would... Uh, there was one ep one I was gonna say episode one issue where uh, they were doing strategies for uh, the Adams Family game on Super Nintendo, and even though I was never like a huge Adams Family guy, I mean don't get me wrong, I like the game, and even though it's really not a good game, I kind of like Fesher's Quest in its own sort of weird way. Um, but it's not like I was like and I had seen the what was then the uh, the new movie back in the very early 90s. Um, oh god. What was I doing? I love the soundtrack for this, by the way. Very chill. And for whatever reason, I thought the game looked really good on the Super Nintendo. <laughs> Again, I don't know why. Like, I I've, I've played the game since then. Obviously. And uh, it's not, like... A particularly good game or anything. It's it's fine for what it is. But I don't know why I was so obsessed with it. I guess just it just had like a look that I really liked. So yeah, maybe one of these days I'll just do a, like the same Adam's Family game on different consoles, <laughs> just for whatever reason. It's gonna get real boring. <laughs> I guess it'll be a neat chance to kind of see, like, the difference between uh, different systems for the same game. So, I don't know, we can kind of look at it like that. Like, sort of like a series of comparison videos. Even though it's not, you know, all the comparisons in one video, it would be six different videos. Because I'm trying to squeeze out content in the laziest way possible, yo. Uh, 
Hey, fuck you, Bumblebee! There we go. Don't use rapid fire with wires. Oh, yeah? Oh, shit. Uh -huh. <laughs> it sounds stupid, but I'm kind of looking forward to doing that uh, M's Family thing now. <laughs> My test game is finally going to be there for all the world to see. Oh, shit. I can't believe I pulled that off, for the most part. Shit, I might be able to beat this game. Although, probably not uh, in this session or whatever. It'd take too long. I got one more TG16 game to try. Well, actually, I just have two, technically. But, uh... Or, uh... Turbo CD game. I have plenty of TG16 games. I just I get to thinking about all the Turbo CD games I wanted to play. It's funny I had never played uh, Shadowgate until like years after the fact. But I remember seeing it in was it Game Pro, EGM. I can't remember. Uh, boy, I miss video game magazines. I mean, they, they still make them. Don't get me wrong, but they're not like they once were. What you see in a magazine these days is nothing you can't get in, you know, an online publication or whatever. Or from uh, somebody with some charisma on YouTube, you know. Just to say, not me. Uh, <laughs> but, ah, no! Wasn't paying attention. Holy shit. And even though I've never played Shadowgate, there's a game called Beyond Shadowgate on the... Shit! Uh, Beyond Shadowgate on Turbo CD. And it's a very strange game. With a, a complicated history, it turns out. Beyond Shadowgate was supposed to be the sequel to um, the original Shadowgate. And it was going to be a, a Mac Venture game. Which is games like uh, uh, The Uninvited, Deja Vu, uh, Shadowgate. Those uh, point-and-click adventure games that started off on... Uh, oh, fuck! I didn't see that. Eh. Those point-and-click adventure games that started off on the Mac. With a very good-looking uh, black-and-white interface, I, kind of, I have to say. I've never played the, the Mac versions myself, but uh, I, I probably would have enjoyed them as a kid. Considering how much I love point and click. And I bet I would have loved Uninvited, Deja Vu, and all the, the, all the others uh, had I had them on Nintendo. But anyway, uh, they were making a, a new Shadowgate for the Mac, but by the time it was coming out, I was like, nobody really wants to play, you know, black and white games on a, on a Mac anymore. They're playing NES and stuff like that. And color computer games this year are coming out. Uh, uh, Amigas and, and all that other fun stuff. Um, so the the original idea was scrapped, but they but they kept going with it in a different form, and it became what is now known as just Beyond Shadowgate on the shit the Turbo CD, and it's like a, a side-scrolling action point-and-click. Like, there, there's, like, actual combat in it. It's really bad combat, but there's combat in it. And it's voice acted. It's it's, it's the same sort of, a uh, cheesy voice acting you've come to know and love through, uh, Turbo CD and Sega CD games. But, uh, still, it's there. Got some interesting animation, and, uh, I don't know. I think, I, I think it's really cool. I, I've, I've been wanting to try it ever since I was a kid and read that magazine. So maybe on here, someday, we'll try it.
I guess we'll go to Unai. I think this is our last continue, right? Go on, fuckers! This is actually really easy if you're just patient. <laughs> Alright, they're gonna they're gonna run into the shit eventually, right? <laughs> yeah, except there's a timer also. Fucker. Alright, alright, alright. Alright, come on boy. There we go. Okay, fall down. Yes, does not kill me. I wasn't considering that when I. Oh God! <laughs> what? Ah, oh, bullshit! Boo! Uh oh. Oh, come on. Uh. Run, you little fucker. I actually pressed the other button because I realized I hadn't yet. I was like, there's not a jump, is there? Come on, fuckers! No, I didn't want that! Uh, eat this gourd. You can get bu extra points if you take the bomb. But... Eh. Oh yeah, because it shatters everything at once. Uh, oh boy. Oh shit! Oh no! Oh no! That's why it's dangerous. Ah, oh, shit. Well, that's a wrap on that one. I like Buster Bros. Again, not very good at it, but it's a, it's a fun arcade game. Was this actually in the arcade at some point? I actually don't know. Oh, well. Anyway, I'll see you tomorrow for the next one. Later.